Welcome back to my channel Gurugul. If you are watching my video for the first time then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for all notifications. Today I am going to start with part 1 of exercise 13.3. Hello everyone. Welcome once again to the channel Gurukul. So, ask 13.3 shuru karne se pehle, let me go through certain things. So, I would ask you all to turn over to page 239. Here you can see, there is given some special parallelogram. Usme se ek hai rectangle. So, before solving the exercises, please go through them. Kiska kya property hai? Ye sab aap dimaag mein rakhiye. Kyunki agar ye sab ka information aapko rahega, then you will be able to solve the given exercises. So, hence, isko parna zaruri hai. So, rectangle, if one angle of a parallelogram is a right angle, then it is called a rectangle. ये देखिए फिगर दिया हुआ है A B C D where one of the angle is right angle clear so it is a rectangle और ये देखिए arrows mentioned है single arrow opposite मतलब ये दोनों equal same और ये double arrow opposite side and we all know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal तो यहाँ पे they are equal as well as parallel so the properties of a rectangle so, the first property of a rectangle is that all the interior angles of a rectangle are right angle. Right angle means 90 degree. So, here we have given that the diagonal of a rectangle are equal. So, as you can see in the figure, AC is equal to BD. Now, we are going to move on to the next parallelogram which is rhombus. If two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are equal, then it is called a rhombus. Dekhiye, AB is equal to BC. AB is equal to BC. Two adjacent sides are equal. So, ABCD is a rhombus. Ab iska property hum lo padte hain. First one, all the sides of a rhombus are equal. So, AB is equal to BC which is equal to CD and DA. Next property, the diagonal of a rhombus intersect at right angle. As you can see in the figure that AC is perpendicular to BD. That means 90 degree. Next, the diagonal bisect the angles of a rhombus. So, diagonal jo hai, wo angles ko bisect karta hai. And in the above figure, as you can see, the diagonal AC bisects angle A as well as angle C. Ye dekhiye, diagonal AC hai, jo ki angle A as well as angle C ko bisect karta hai. Bisect means dividing into two equal half. And similarly, diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. So, ye sa properties ko dimaag mein rakhne ka koshish kariyega. Clear? So, let me repeat. Try to keep all these properties in your mind if you want to solve the exercises fluently. Next hai square. If two adjacent sides of a rectangle are equal, then it is called a square. Adjacent side means side by side. Alternatively, if one angle of a rhombus is a right angle, then it is called a square. As you can see in this figure, AB is equal to BC. So, ABCD is a square. Ab iske properties ke baare mein padte hain. So, the first one, all the interior angles of a square are right angle. That means angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to angle D which is 90 degree. Next, all the sides of a square are equal. AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Next, the diagonal of a square are equal. AC is equal to BD. Next is that the diagonal of a square intersect at right angle. So, AC is perpendicular to BD. That means for 90 degree hai. The diagonal bisect the angles of the square. Jaise ki rhombus mein tha, to square mein bhi wahi cheez hai. The diagonals bisect the angles of a square. Jis tarah se rhombus mein tha, right? So, the diagonal AC bisect angle A as well as angle C. And diagonal BD bisect angle B as well as angle D. So, if you look at a square, a square is a rectangle 
as well as a rhombus so it has all the properties of a rectangle as well as that of a rhombus next is trapezium a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides is parallel is called a trapezium jaisa ki aap dekh sakte hain ab is parallel to dc dekhiye arrow diya hua hai but that is not the case in da and bc so the parallel sides are called the bases of the trapezium and ab is parallel to dc so abcd is a trapezium so ye jo da hai ye ek transversal line hai passing through two parallel lines ab and adc right to yahan pe dono angle दो पैरल लाइंस के बीच में होना चाहिए वो भी एक तरफ एंड दोनों का सम होना चाहिए 180 डिग्री एंड इट शुड बी इनसाइड द ट्रपीजियम ये नहीं कि वो एंगल का मेजरमेंट अगर फॉर इंस्टेंस यहाँ दिया हुआ है तो आप उसको इंक्लूड कर दें तो मेक श्योर दैट दे आर ऑन द सेम साइड एंड दैट टू विद इन द ट्रपीजियम आई सोसलिस ट्रपीजियम इफ टू नॉन पैरल Size of a trapezium are equal, then it is called an isosceles trapezium. As you can see, AB is parallel to DC and AD is equal to BC. So ABCD is an isosceles trapezium. अब उसका properties क्या है? That angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, angle B plus angle C should be 180 degree. Angles on the same base are equal like angle a is equal to angle b and angle c is equal to angle d and diagonals are equal in length as you can see that ac is equal to bd next is kite a quadrilateral in which two pair of adjacent sides are equal is called a kite so as you can see a b c d is in the shape of a kite यहाँ पे ए डी और डी सी का लेंथ शॉर्ट है कम्पेयर टू ए बी एंड बी सी सो इन दी अजॉइनिंग क्वारीचुअल ए बी इज इक्वल टू बी सी एंड ए डी इज इक्वल टू सी डी हेंस इट इज अट नाउ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ काइट दी डायगनल्स ऑफ अ काइट इंटरसेक्ट एट राइट एंगल सो ए सी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू बी डी देन एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी एंड ओ ए इज इक्वल टू ओ सी एंड देन डायगनल बी डी बाइसेक एंगल बी एज वेल एज एंगल डी सो इन दी अब फिगर डायगनल बी डी डिवाइज द काइट इन टू कॉन्ग्रुएंट ट्राइंगल triangle abd is congruent to triangle cbd so congruent chapter hum logo ne already kar rakha hai agar aap logo ne wo video nahi dekha hai to if possible usko dekh lijiye so the first question identify all the quadrilaterals that have the first part four sides of equal length agar aap sab ne properties ko follow kiya hai then i'm sure you all know the answer it is square and rhombus secondly four right angles so a quadrilateral having four right angles is again it is a square and a rectangle Now question number 2 explain how a square is the first one a quadrilateral ki square a quadrilateral kaise hai so kaise hai uska explanation ye hai that a square is a quadrilateral it is a quadrilateral as it has four sides and four angles whose sum is 360 degree iska second part we have to show that how square is a parallelogram 
so it is a parallelogram as its opposite sides are parallel thirdly we need to show that how a square is a rhombus it is a rhombus as its sides are equal it is a rhombus as its sides are equal fourth one now we need to show that how a square is a rectangle it is a rectangle as its each angle is 90 degree